Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's Daily Recap. I'm Evan Lazarus, and I'm filling in for Scott, the Red Dog Rather, this afternoon. Uh, I did the morning call today, and I'm not sure if you had a chance, uh, but if you haven't had a chance to check it out, uh, I would suggest doing so, as I really did a, a much longer, more in-depth analysis of the overall markets and uh, highlighting both you know, indexes, and, and uh, specifically, I, I spent some time on, on, on biotechs. Um, <clears throat> so we'll, we'll, on the, on, you know, we'll follow up on uh, that here this afternoon. Uh, and what was the first trading day of 2015? The market, you know, gapped open um, and uh, spent the better part of the day up until about two o'clock uh, selling off uh, and then snapping back right around that 2:30 hour uh, into the close. And if we look intraday, here's a, you know, here's a 10-minute chart. Um, you can see here. You know, I'll zoom in. Right around here was our uh, was our gap up. You can see uh, first five ten minutes of the day, we saw a little bit of a push at the open, and then the sellers stepped in and and, and took us lower, where we bounced around uh, till about like I said two o'clock. Right around here, we you know made the low, and then we got a little you know correction uh, here late into the session. So. Uh, you know, not a very good day for uh, the bulls here to start the to start the new year. Um, again, I wouldn't read too much into one day's price action, but like I said this morning, you know, the market on the heels of this big topping tail, snapping back, breaking down, uh, and now you know retesting um, this you know this this low here, uh, or at least you know close to that area. This to me. You know, we might see a, a one or a two day consolidation in here, but but this to me suggests that, you know, there there probably is more selling uh, uh, to come here, and I do anticipate you know a volatile market. I do think the the market you know is going to have some pretty wild gyrations, uh, going you know again who knows how long, but possibly through the first quarter of this year, um, as we are you know definitively at an area where you know, the market has found some, you know, I'd say some pretty substantial resistance uh, with lots of things going on here, things being topping tails and, you know, patterns and, and breakout failures and, you know, all sorts of potential scenarios playing here. But, you know, the bottom line is I, is I spent, you know, a good deal of time this morning going over was that, to me, probabilities uh, of, of price moving higher are very slim here and probabilities, again, suggest more downside to come. Now, what you do with that information or how you approach the markets is, is really, you know, ultimately unto yourself. Um, but, but that's to me where it looks to me like prices are ultimately will, will will go. And as you know from other pockets where we've seen, you know, strong waves of selling, whether it's you know back here in September, October, or you know even uh, early December, when when sellers you know take control of the market, sometimes it, you know it's it's a it's a an emotion of of fear, and when fear sets into the tape. Uh, sometimes you, you get that panic and, and, you know, selling can be fast and furious. So, you know, be prepared. Uh, I would say if you're, you know, in the camp of, of you know, uh, you know, permable or you're that of just, uh, you know, um, I only trade from the long side, I think it could be a real tough road uh, to hoe in, in the sense of, you know, having that, you know, very fixated opinion. Um, and as you, you know, go across the web and even into Twitter and, you know, you get a sense of that market sentiment and emotion. There's a lot of that, uh, you know, that, that I only do this or the market can only go up or, 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 or type sentiment. And I think that the, you know, what I said this morning was that you, you really have to be, uh, in order to have longevity in this business, you, you really need to be flexible um, and, and think in terms of probabilities, uh, which is why I spend so much time talking about it, you know, like I said, in the morning call. Um, as far as biotechs go, just to, you know, kind of, follow through on what I said there this morning looking at the IBB. Um, you know, we saw basically an inside day in this ETF, which, you know, is, is kind of funny in the sense that, it, you know, it was, pretty, it was a pretty wild, you know, swing. Um, and, you know, this morning, you know, I'll show you the intraday. Uh, didn't make any progress really up or down, but uh, in the session this morning, again, this is a five-minute chart. And, again, we saw this big gap up where in the first, you know, 10 minutes of the day, price basically – you know, jammed itself all the way back to the highs from Wednesday, uh, actually within just a couple of pennies um, of, of, of Wednesday's high, all in a matter of, you know, five or ten minutes, and, and then only to come all the way back down to, to the lows. So, you know, uh, inside in the sense that we did not 
Um, we did not trade above uh, the prior day's high or the prior day's low. So that's what constitutes an inside day. And although there was a lot of you know, volatility in here as that we saw a push up, which then got reversed and, and traded lower, and then we kind of bounced around you know, into uh, the end of the session. Has you know, intraday, looks to me like it's still setting up for another push uh, down or what could be the push of a larger, uh, a larger move down. So biotechs, again, uh, like I said, um, you know, definitely a strong performing sector. Biotechs have been going up for a very long time. This is not a new, uh, a new trade. But to me, you know, like I said, the, the seems to me like the, there's some cracks in the armor here. And there's you know, short-term patterns that suggest we could begin you know, to see some selling creep in here. And obviously, if the market starts to turn down, uh, I think you know, there's, there's really not much. Uh, if the market's being sold off, it's going to be hard to be long probably anything. Um, you know, are there some strong names out there? There certainly are. Uh, we look at the banks again, banks, uh, you know, turning down a little bit today and, and tailing up, but trading, you know, alongside with the market. Um, so, you know, so goes the market, probably so goes some of these banks and, uh, some of the other stronger names that, that are out there. A couple of symbols still, you know, act well. Um, let's see here. Uh, Pain Celestial still acts, you know, relatively well after a three-day pullback here. Again, a little extended to the upside. This is a stock that's gone from, you know, over the last, let's say, six months, it's gone from 40 to, you know, 40 to 60. Again, this is split adjusted, I believe. Um, uh, Monster Beverage, another one that's, you know, that's acted well. Finding a bit of a top up here, but, but, but certainly, you know, a stock that has had, you know, uh, a nice steady flow of buyers step in on every pullback. Um, so you gotta you gotta do your homework. You gotta find your your opportunities as, as they present themselves. And and you know uh, if the market you know starts to pick up some some steam uh, or some speed, uh, whether it's intraday and, and you're seeing you know some pretty wild price gyrations, you know it's okay to say look this isn't for me and 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 get yourself into cash. Cash is a position. Um, so you know you gotta really think about you know, what it is you're trying to accomplish and what your skill set is and, and, and how you're approaching uh, the markets, whether you're a day trader, a swing trader, a, a long-term investor, you know, uh, how does this impact you and, and how can you profit from it? Uh, because there certainly will be plenty of opportunities, I, I believe, with a, with a volatile market. You know, volatile markets are all, will always present uh, opportunities so long as you know what you're looking for and, and, and what you're doing. Uh, that being said, uh, wishing everybody a happy and healthy New Year, New Year Happy and healthy New Year's once again, um, and uh, we'll talk next week. Have a nice weekend, everybody.